So today we're doing some lettering. We've started by doing Iona's name because it's a good name to build. And we're going to show you some of the techniques we use. We've started off already with some of the easier letters, the I and the O, because they're some pretty basic shapes to make. When you're building with Lego and putting letters in, it's easy to make them blocky. So my name, for example, Summer, has a lot of curves, and S's and M's, but we're trying to make them as blocky as possible. So if you look at a digital clock and look at those numbers, they don't really have all the curves that you normally see in your typical numbers. They're really like blocky. Lots of right angles, like squares and yeah. boxes. Exactly. So you can see here we've done three studs for each of the letters with a one stud space. Um, but for the end, because we want to get that diagonal stroke, we're going to go and make it four studs wide. So we start with the two vertical strokes. Um, and then we want to put in the diagonal line in the middle. So we're just using these one by one tiles and putting them in one above the other to try and get that diagonal stroke in the middle. Tiles are really good for lettering because you can sort of plan them out before you, uh, before you put them on a base plate and you can see how you want them to look and you know shift them around if you need. For the A, usually you have a point at the top of your A when you're writing it. So you have it's like a little triangle with a line across. But today we're making it really blocky. So it's just like a little rectangle without the bottom bit. And then we put the cross in there with, again, these one by one tiles. So for this A, I've tried to make it a bit more diagonal and it looks a bit silly. So that's why we sort of lean towards these blocky letters. They look a bit more neat and they match the style a bit better. This S looks really nice because we've turned the curve into straight lines. So it's really sleek and looks really professional and cool. So this sort of lettering we use for shop fronts, sold signs in our builds and it looks really good because you can tell exactly what it is. You know, you can write like store or fruit or something. Um, or your name if you want. You can yeah. label your work so you can tell whose it is. And if you're wanting to stick to a building, it's important to remember to put a snot brick in your build so that you can just attach the back of this to the snot brick on your building. And if you want to give this a go, you can definitely do your name, any colour you want. Works really well on a base plate or you can try with just snot bricks, that could be fun. <laughs> 